Bullying is an issue that has been growing in schools for years now. Many students as young as elementary school have felt targeted by these certain individuals. The frequency of bullying is ignored, but the truth is it is never ignored by the victims that have to live with it day in and day out. The United States Department of Justice has reported that 37% of students don't feel safe at school because of bullying. While some of that 37% of students are neglected, it causes them to take matters into their own hands, which can at times become dangerous or worse, fatal. This is the story of Ryan Halligan. It explains how he was bullied and eventually pushed to take his own life. Ryan grew up with speech, language, and motor skill problems, beginning at his kindergarten years through fourth grade. Ryan entered special ed classes, and by the time he entered fifth grade, he no longer needed the extra help. Although he grew strong enough to part from special ed, his confidence grew weaker within himself. Ryan worked harder and harder, but he looked towards his parents to help make him feel smart. When Ryan hit fifth grade, the bullying began. Kids began aware of Ryan's academic and physical weaknesses and started to harass him and make fun of him. Ryan's parents encouraged him to ignore the kids and even got him a therapist to talk to. As he gained his confidence back, his parents canceled the therapist. Ryan entered sixth grade and was terrified of the scary new environment. He began to struggle in school again and even mentioned to his parents about entering the special education program again. Once again, him and his parents' worst fear resurfaced. The same group of boys from fifth grade were back to bullying Ryan. His parents begged him to go talk to the principal, but he demanded that they didn't. Ryan told his parents that he wanted to start taking kickboxing so he could defend himself if the boys ever decided to jump him. Shortly after joining self-defense, Ryan's parents got a call that he had been in a fight, but Ryan was confident that the fight had proved himself and believed that they were going to leave him alone now. A few short months later, Ryan shared the news that his worst enemy and him were now friends. His parents were extremely skeptical, especially since now Ryan spent a majority of his time on the internet talking to his new friend. Ryan began to confide in his former bullier by telling him all sorts of secrets. Those same secrets began to travel through school and Ryan had now become victimized by multiple bullies. They constantly pushed him around and laughed at him. Only months later, Ryan took his own life due to depression. At only 13 years old, his parents believed that environmental factors such as the bullying triggered Ryan's response to end his life. His father now travels to as many schools possible sharing Ryan's story in hopes to save a life. His gravestone reads, Never forget the fragility of adolescence and Ryan Halligan.